Superannuation is a way of saving for retirement here in Australia. And here your employer must pay a percentage of your earnings into your super account and your super fund invests the money until you retire. And conceptually, this scheme is so bulletproof that almost everyone with an average salary can be guaranteed to retire with a reasonable amount of money in their pockets. So how does it work? Well, in Australia, we have the scheme called the superannuation guarantee or SG for short, where your employer must pay a percentage of your ordinary time earnings in addition to your wages into your super fund. And the SG rate in Australia currently sits at 10.5% per annum and it is set to rise 0.5% per year till it reaches 12% in July 2025. And in Australia, salary negotiations typically occur on a sum that is exclusive of the SG rate. So if an employer offers $100,000 for your salary, then it usually means super is paid on top of that pay package and so $100,000 will be your income and your employer will pay an extra 10. 5k to go towards your super. This money is then passed off to what's called super funds and they can invest in varying types of super funds with a different risk factor. Usually super funds do not invest into asset classes that are too risky as they are regulated by a government body called APRA. So you can be assured that assets like crypto doesn't really make it on the list. However, you can slide your risk profile to expose yourself to more risk, expecting a higher gain over a longer period of time, all the way to just holding cash. So all super funds will usually allow you to pick and choose from a variety of options with varying degrees of risks. And usually they're based on your life stage. They'll take a bigger risk when you're younger and less risk when you are older. Here you can see that for a late 20s person like myself, Combank super fund has the following allocation. Global shares take up the bulk of the portfolio, which is arguably a heavier weighting in the more risky asset class in comparison to the global fixed interest, which is arguably a lower risk with lower weighting of my fund. And the allocation of assets will likely change as I age through my years. And the plan is that by the time I'm retired and typically early to mid 60s, I will be rich. But of course, an even better plan is to smash the like button, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you can stay updated and well informed with videos like this. It costs absolutely nothing to do and will be valuable beyond your wildest dream. And now jumping back into the video, how much do super funds return? Well, let's have a look here. As you can see, different mixes of investments have consistently performed on average between nine to 10% per year. We can also see that international shares have done exceptionally well, but the whole point of super is to diversify the risks. So the mixes of asset classes are important to serve this purpose. And here we can typically get a nine to 10% per year, which is quite good it should be a good hedge against inflation. Data shows here that for the past 30 years, the government aimed to keep inflation around two to 3%. Although these days, because of higher money printing, the conversation can be a little bit different. And without factoring in 2022, the real data on inflation for the last 60 years for Australia has been on average 4.66% per annum. So investing in super clearly beats inflation, which is good, and then some more through compounding. So let's put some numbers behind what this looks like. I've done some high-powered mathematics to help you visually understand what the heck is going on. So let's begin. It's quite typical that you work 45 years on average from say 20 years old to 65. An average Australian graduate makes $72,000 per annum in 2022 according to this data and average growth in salary is say 2% per annum as a lower estimate based on the annual salary growth rate between 1998 to 2022. Now, based on this, you'll make $172,000 per year, the year before you retire or in 45 years time from now. And you can see here that more than $620,000 would have been paid into your super as the principal that over the course of 45 years on 8% return from the underestimated average performance of super funds that we have previously seen, your super by the time you are 65 years old will be worth a drum roll please at $4.24 million. Not bad at all, but now taking into account the average inflation over the last 60 years at 4.66%, that $4.24 million will be worth $546,000 in today's dollar values, which is still pretty decent. Now, provided an average life expectancy of 82.9 years in Australia, your super will be used for a good 18 years, which means you can use a good $30,000 per annum after adjusting for inflation. 
Now take note that this is for a very average income with underestimation of average performance on super funds. And this does not account for any other income that you may have secured from your investments, such as your own property and other investments. And if you do want to live it up, spending more than $30,000 per annum in the later years of your life, then I'd say, Make some good investment choices now into good assets so you can be a baller granny. Call it what you will, but this is quite decent on a global scale when it comes to retirement planning and it takes a big load of government resources and tax money. So let's put it in a different way. If you only received a $1,550 pay rise every year, your final salary before you retire will be just above $140,000 and your super will still sit strong at $4.1 million. So looking at the graph again, the time value of money is the strongest factor. In Australia, super funds are heavily regulated by APRA as there needs to be transparency and regulation within the super fund industry. However, there is a real risk to your money in Australia as there can always be risk for citizens as the operations aren't always free from scams and frauds. And as every working Australian technically has super, the superannuation industry is very, very big. There is currently a total of $3.4 trillion in super funds as of 2022. It has been researched that on average, fees on managed super funds clock in around 1% per annum, which means that there is a good $34 billion income to the industry each year year. But the fees do range, so make sure you pick out a good super fund that doesn't charge you too much. Usually this fee is taken out of your fund, and as you know, the time value of money can be very, very powerful for you. An extra dollar today can go a long way in the next 45 years. In fact, just $100 today is worth $4,832 in 45 years if it is invested in a fund that generates 9% per year. So the way you spend your money now is very, very important for your retirement. In Australia, there's also a way to self-manage your own super funds. And this is called self-managed super funds or SMSFs. You can invest in shares and real estate and a list of other allowed investment activities to take control of your own super investment. If you think that you can do a better job than super funds and you'd rather do it yourself than pay fees on your super fund, then this is a great option too. However, you need to do the work and the research on how to invest your super and where to actually allocate your funds. But I suggest that the easiest thing you can do is just go and mimic the asset allocation of the super funds yourself on various indices. That takes minimal effort and very low cost to do. But most people use self-managed super funds to engage in their own investment activities as there are great tax concessions to it as well. With investment income tax capped at 15%, SMSFs can be a very good tax strategy as Australian individual tax rate can climb as high as 45%. However, the data on SMSF is not particularly convincing. As for many years, the SMSFs have underperformed APRA regulator super funds on average. However, if you're the type of person who rides the line above average, hey, the world is your oyster and go for gold. But in other case, SMSFs require advice and research, so make sure you seek the right financial tax and legal advice. Overall, this is Australia's plan to make everyone rich when the citizens graduate from their working life. What do you think about the Australian super? Is it a nice disciplinary action we all need or is it just a scam? Let us know in the comments.